Hello, I'm Sean, and today I'll be telling you about my nomination for the Molecule Hero of the Year Tannic Acid, or C76H52O46. Quick note, the term tannic acid is sometimes used interchangeably with uh, the family of compound tannins, which are found amongst plant life globally. However, this is misleading because tannic acid is only found in specific plant species and has different properties than non-hydrolyzable tannins. Uh, it is quite a large molecule with a molecular weight of about 1,701 grams per mole, has a boiling point of 862 de um, degrees Celsius, a melting point of 218 degrees Celsius, and it is quite water soluble with, with one gram dissolving in 0.35 mils of water. In its pure form, tannic acid is light yellow to tannin color, and it darkens when exposed to air or water, as you can see in the pictures above. It, can, it is a uh, amorphous solid, it can be a bulky powder, a flaky powder, or it can also be spongy masses, as you can see in the uh, bottom picture. It has a faint odor and a strong astringent taste. Some chemical properties, uh, like I mentioned, it's unstable when exposed to light and air because of uh, bacterial action. Uh, moderately toxic by ingestion uh, and inhalation, although it is a food additive, so it is safe in small quantities. It is combustible uh, and extinguishable with dry chemicals only, like CO2. Uh, it's a very stable molecule, but incompatible with metallic salts, strong oxidizing agents, iron, and other heavy metals. The molecular structure of tannic acid uh, is tannic acid is a specific, a specific form of tannin um, that varies depending on where it was derived. It's a polyphenol. It is composed of a central glucose core consisting of a ring of six carbon atoms attached to ester groups. Two to 12 of these groups are bound to gallic acid modes. Uh, modes are parts of a molecule given a name. Uh, tannic acid is not an appropriate standard for any type of tannin analysis because of its poorly defined composition. It's a complicated structure that varies from molecule to molecule. Uh, tannic acid is not a true acid because it does not contain the carboxyl groups, the COOH groups present in all organic acid. Instead, it is a polyphenol, a compound with many phenol C6H5OH groups. Uh, tannic acid is a naturally occurring compound that is commercially produced by a solvent extraction process. Uh, it can be bought from labs in China and the United States. It's usually extracted from pteropods, uh, gallnuts, um, or Sicilian sumac leaves. And these are the only plates in which plants in which commercially available tannic acid can be extracted. Sometimes extracts from chestnuts or oakwood are also described as tannic acid, but this is an incorrect use of the term. Um, until the mid-1900s, most of the world's supply of tannic acid was obtained from the Aleppo gall found on uh, oak trees. The trees produce gall tissue in response to a chemical substance secreted by the larvae of tiny parasitic wasps that infest the trees. Um, commercial interest in oak galls uh, was for a high quality ink that could be made from it that was used to print money and other important documents. And this brings me to the many uses uh, and history of the versatile compound tannic acid. It has been in use as early as the fifth century BC. Um, oak, nut, oak galls, also called gall nuts or oak apples, were gathered and used commercially as a source of tannic acid. It was a principal ingredient in wool dyes and black hair colorants used during the Greek Empire. It was also used for a variety of medicinal pur purposes, such as an astringent for treating burns, as a tonic for fevers, and mixed with honey as a cure for baldness. This molecule belongs to a larger class of chemical compounds called tannins, and these um, this group of molecules all shares the common property of being able to precipitate proteins. Iron gall ink, like I mentioned before, is made from a mixture of iron sulfate and gallotanic acid. Many famous and unique manuscripts have been written using oak gall ink, including the Codex Sinaiticus, which is the oldest and most complete Bible currently known to exist. That's been written in the middle of the fourth century, and you can see a page of that Bible right here, and some ink as well. Um, during World War I, it was uh, used to treat burns caused by bombs, mustard gas, or even lewisite. And you can see some um, products and some instructions for applying the tannic acid here. In this picture, you can see a fireman applying tannic acid to a two-year-old child who's a survivor of a fatal fire in South Bend, Indiana. It soothes the pain, and it starts the healing process of um, the scorched tissue. It has many, many other uses. Some common ones are to stain wood as an astringent in cosmetic products treatment of wastewater. Um, one really interesting one is studies suggest that people allergic to cats may be able to control their allergies by spraying surfaces in the home with a solution of tannic acid. It chemically alters the proteins in feline saliva that triggers the allergic reactions. And that is why I would like to formally nominate this very versatile compound, tannic acid, um, as the International Union of Molecular Enthusiasts pick for molecule of the year. Uh, the ancient Greeks have recognized the utility of this versatile substance for 2,500 years, and it's about time we give it some recognition. Its uses are endless, and its source is fascinating. I mean, what other industrial chemicals are produced by the infection of a parasitic wasp? Uh, evolution favors this compound, and so should you. Uh, there is still much research to be done with tannic acid, and this recognition could make that possible. Thank you for listening, and here are my image credits and my work site.